Chanting, Hong Xiaoju, get elected. Members of Taiwan's ruling Guomindang made history on Sunday. By confirming Deputy Legislative Speaker Hong as the KMT's presidential candidate, it meant that two women, Hong and Tsai Ing-wen, chairwoman of the main opposition party, will compete for the presidency in next January's election. And that means the more than 100-year-old Republic of China will likely have its first female president next year. Though short in stature and overlooked by the party for major offices, Hong rose to the challenge after few party members wanted to run, given the KMT's poor performance in local elections last year. The message from her and other party heavyweights is that the party's members must be united in order to do well in next year's presidential and legislative races. The party currently holds the presidency and a majority of seats in the legislature. Tsai, however, has a sizable lead in opinion polls, partly due to voter dissatisfaction with the ruling party's handling of the economy and fears of its pro-China policy. So it risks losing not only the presidency but legislative seats next January. At the party congress on Sunday, Hong also emphasized she will abide by the 1992 consensus, under which her party has improved relations and reduced tensions with Beijing. In the agreement, the two sides agree that there is only one China in the world, with each side free to interpret what that China is. Hong had previously worried party members by saying she supported one China, common interpretation. Hong also spoke in the local Minnan dialect and reminded supporters of her humble family background. After the death of her father, her mother raised her and her siblings on her own. Her message was she can understand the plight of the working class. With only six months to go before the election, many are waiting to see if Hong, nicknamed Little Hot Pepper for her candor, can turn back the tide and defeat Tsai. But regardless of the outcome, the fact that two women are leading the two parties' election campaigns marks a new chapter in Taiwan's democratic development. CNA, Taipei.